This is the Scribe Journal from Best Self Co, not to be confused with the Self Planner. Um, so I've previously done a review of that one, I'll include a link down below. So that one was a daily and weekly planner. This one is actually a journal, so I know that the names are rather, rather confusing. This one has dot grid pages, so if you wanted to do bullet journaling, um, then this is a notebook that you could consider using. The page size is five and a half inches wide by eight inches high, so around about A5 half US letter, pretty typical page size for a dock read notebook. This one though, a bit different, has really flexible pages, so it's like, it's not a hard cover. You can bend it a bit and throw it around and it's not gonna get damaged. So if you are someone who is taking it with you all the time, you're shoving it in your handbag, maybe something like this with a soft cover um, would be a good option. It is around about, um, I'd say a bit more than a centimeter thick. I will have the dimensions in the blog post, which will be linked down below. The cover is really plain though, and I could only see this navy blue um, cover color, so there's no other colors to choose from, unfortunately, and there's nothing printed. The only thing is on the back with just their brand on there. There's actually nothing else on it, so it's, it's very plain. And I don't think this material will work if you make like a monogram stick or anything and stick it. I think it's just going to peel straight off. Um, and this cover material does attract lint, unfortunately. It's like that fake leather. As you can see, it's really bendy. On the inside cover here, they have a little ruler for you and some dot grid dimensions, which I thought was quite handy. Um, I do think this would be better if it was removable, though, because once you start writing, um, like you can see it here, which can help when you're marking up you know, like days of the week, so they've got seven there. So you could use that for a weekly spread, so that would be handy, but I think a little removable, um, like a bookmark thing would be much better. Good idea, but just make it a bookmark, and then it would be more practical. Front here, you got the usual This Belongs To page, and then we have the dock grid pages. So there's no um, pre-printed index with this one, it's just the open-ended pages. The page color, um, if you can't see it in the video, I do have sometimes people commenting, asking what uh, color it is so I would say this is ivory it's not bright white but it's not really yellow it's just got like a tinge of like cream it's still um it's still not bright white but it's not yellow so it's somewhere in between I hope that was kind of helpful um there is no page numbers on this at all it's just the open-ended pages with nothing nothing else on them just dot grid you probably noticed though that the pages are perforated so if you want to keep your place in the notebook, um, there is only one ribbon bookmark. So instead, you can just tear off the corner of the pages down here. So you could have this bookmark to track your monthly and then maybe the little tear off pages for all of your weekly spreads. So you can see where you're up to. If you are tearing them out, not in consecutive order though, it might be a bit harder to find where you're looking for, but hey, at least it's got the perforated corners. I can't recall another dot grid notebook that I've come across that has the perforated corners other than a custom agendio, which is way more expensive than this one. This one's only about, I think, 17 US dollars, which is what I call about medium, medium um, price range for a dot grid notebook. If it had the page numbers, I would like it a lot more. Um, the pages are laying flat relatively on their own when you break the spine. So to do that, I just turn it over, pull it back a bit, and then flip it back over, and then they lay flat. So I'm not in the middle of the notebook, and they're still laying pretty well flat, so that's good. Isn't really much else for me to say about this um, notebook, other than if you follow me, you'll know what I'm going to show you. Pen test. So all my usual pens that I try, I try and keep it consistent so that you can see how... Um, like which pens are best. So if, if in doubt, I would always go with a ballpoint. Particularly love this Papermate one um, because that's the most well, the, the most likely to not have ghosting if you go with ballpoint. So the paper, you can still see a lot of show through and in this instance, unfortunately, even the ballpoint pen shows through. So the paper is quite thin. There's full bleed through for the Mambi stamps. Highlighters have bad ghosting. So the paper, um, unfortunately, is quite thin. If it was thicker, then I would obviously like this notebook more, but there's a lot of show through. So you might want to leave the back side of that page blank and then write on the next page, um, like skip some pages in between. I know you don't get the full use of the notebook um, if you do that, but that's one way to avoid having show through. At the back here, there are a couple of perforated pages, probably about 10 of them, I think. So if you had something like maybe a, a monthly 
planning list, like a to-do list of regular routine tasks, then you could write it in here and then pull it out and put it on your pin board or wherever. So I reckon they'll pull out quite easily because they're already starting to, see it's already like got a little bit of a tear. And at the very back, we have the usual inclusion for a Dockery notebook, which is a roomy pocket folder. Quite a bit of space in there to put some stickers or sticky notes or whatever you want to put. And then you've got an elastic band to keep everything closed. So this notebook, I like that it has the flexible cover where you can throw it around, but I would want page numbers. The paper is a bit thin. Um, I'm not really too fussed if it has pre-printed pages or not, because you can always just add that or resize a printable and stick that in. If you want a tutorial for resizing printables, I'll include that link down below. Um, so would I recommend this? I personally probably wouldn't, just because there are so many other um, dock grid notebooks around. And if you are looking to do, you're looking for one, um, I've done a comparison of about 30, which I'll have the link to down below as well. Don't forget to subscribe. I usually post a couple of review videos and Dockery notebook review videos um, each week on my channel.